Just because you have an indoor bunny doesn't mean that your house has to smell like a barnyard. Bunnies themselves actually have no odor. How you care for your bunny is what can cause the area to stink. So today we're gonna to give you six tips on how you can keep your bunny area stink free. Let's get on to the tips. Welcome back gang. And for those of you joining us for the first time, my name is Tiffany. I'm joined today with Blackberry. I'm a bunny educator and the mom of six bunnies and 10 new baby bunny kits. We bring you fun and informative bunny videos each week. So to see cute bunnies or get tips to be a better bunny parent, make sure you subscribe to our channel right now. Having your bunny in a larger housing unit and giving them proper exercise daily is a way that you can keep the odor down in your for your indoor bunny. It sounds really weird, but having a larger housing area actually provides your bunny um, space where they're able to play around and also it keeps their litter, food, and water separated, which can help keep down on the odor. In addition to a larger housing size, a larger litter box is another great way to keep the odor under control in your bunny's housing unit. Now, the larger litter box is great because not only is it more comfortable for your bunny whenever they're snacking on their hay, but also it will prevent their butt from hanging over the litter box and getting pee in their cage area where there's no absorbent material to absorb the odor. The best litter that I have found to use is puppy pads topped with equine pellets, which is also known as horse stall bedding, and topped with hay. I put that under their hay rack to encourage them to use the litter box while they're eating. Also changing the litter box regularly, which I choose to do every one to three days, depending on the bunny or if they are sharing a litter box or not. Spot cleaning your bunny's area daily is another way to keep the odor under control. So with this, I do a little uh, spot sweeping, maybe some vacuuming if there's some heavier messes. I also do some litter box spot cleaning. And I, um, another good thing you can do is if your bunny is peeing over the litter box sometimes, you can use either a disposable or reusable puppy pad and place it under the litter box so that it absorbs the urine when it spills out. This makes it easy to spot clean each day because you can just pick up the puppy pad and replace it with a new one. In addition to that, I clean out the food and water dishes each daily and replace the water. This will keep any bacteria down and also any odors. If you find these tips useful so far, type down in the comments below, hashtag bunny love. In addition to spot cleaning daily, you wanna thoroughly clean your bunny's housing area once every, I would say six to 10 days. This will depend on how messy your bunny is. Um, if you have, you know, ones that miss the box a lot or whatever, you might have to do it more frequently. Um, this is the opportunity I take to scrub out the litter boxes instead of just dumping and replacing it. I will actually scrub down the litter boxes with a vinegar and water solution. I will spray down all the um, hard surfaces in their housing area and sweep, mop, and wipe those all down. So um, this is a way to keep any additional bacteria, germs, sicknesses, anything like that. It will help prevent those and also it will keep the area smelling nice, fresh, and clean. Vinegar is a great way to clean your bunny's cage because not only is it safe, but it will also neutralize odors, especially urine odor. So proper bunny diet is another way to keep the odor and smell under control. If your bunny is having really smelly urine and poop, it may be because the diet is not correct for them. Now, Dutchie, when I first got him, he had very smelly um, poops and peas because of the improper low fiber diet that he was being fed before his rescue. Once I changed his diet, this completely corrected itself and he smells just like my other bunnies now. No odor as long as you keep the area clean. So um, that is one thing that can contribute to them having smelly one. Now it may not be that your bunny's on an improper diet, but they may just not digest certain foods as well as other bunnies do. So some bunnies might have this action with broccoli, some might have it with spinach. Um, it just depends on your bunny. Some of them don't do well with certain pellet types. I know that I had a brand of pellets that my bunny seemed to have smellier urine on, so I no longer feed them that brand of pellet. So just look into that if you're having the smelly urine and poop issue, even if you're cleaning your litter box regularly and you're still noticing that's very smelly. Diet could be a contributing factor for that. 
Having a rabbit that's not spayed or neutered can definitely cause odor problems. The reason being is when your bunnies are not fixed, they'll do territorial markings and behaviors. This is gonna be like territorial droppings or it can be spraying for males. Females can spray too, but it's more common in males. So if this happens and you're having this odor problem, you have two options. The first one is to get your rabbit fixed. This is spay or neutered, spaying for females and neutering for males. Um, in addition to cutting down on the smell issues that you may have, it will also help with health issues because females have a risk of getting cancer as they grow older if they are not fixed or they're not reproducing babies. Um, the other option you have is not a guarantee that it will work, but it could cut down on your problem. And this would be housing your bunny separately, not in a separate bunny, not in separate pins in the same room, but actually having to separate them completely. Now this, the reason being is if they're in the same room, even in separate pens, they're still gonna have territorial behaviors because they can both see and smell the other bunny. Now this is male and female are gonna have more of the issue with the behaviors, but even if you have two females or two males house, they can still have this territorial behavior. So those would be the two options you have if you have this problem that's causing your smells. Today's shout out is to the Bunny Channel. Thank you for all your wonderful comments and we appreciate you being a part of our gang. Housing your bunny indoors can be beneficial to both you and your bunny. Not only is it safer for your bunny and healthier, but also it allows you and your bunny to develop a stronger bond. If you liked these tips, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more great bunny care videos like this one. Thank you for joining us guys and make sure you check back to get updates on our 10 new baby bunnies. Thanks for joining us and don't forget to share the bunny love. Today the babies are seven days old and all are healthy. Hops is doing great and we're no longer supplement feeding. Click here to watch another video or subscribe to our channel.